So welcome everyone to Digital Learning Day. This is Microsoft under the Microscope Publisher presentation and you're listening to the voice of Julie Wainio. I'm one of the tech assistants here at Parkview High School. If you ever have any questions about this presentation or any other technology related questions, please feel free to come see me in Lab 207. Today we'll be briefly exploring my Microsoft Publisher. Publisher is an application that can be used to create any kind of print document from flyers to, and posters to greeting cards and travel brochures. In this tutorial, we will be exploring the use of picture manipulation. Knowing how to manipulate pictures in Publisher is a great skill to have, as you can not only use the pictures or clip art in Publisher itself, but you can save altered pictures for later use in different programs. I personally feel that altering pictures in Publisher is a lot easier than using a format such as Paint. And once you know what you're doing in Publisher in regards to the images, you can use that information to alter pictures in other Microsoft software as well. So to open Publisher, we're going to go down to the Start button, All Programs, Productivity, Microsoft Office, and Publisher, and it's the Aquamarine P, not the orange P, the Aquamarine P. Okay. As you can see when Publisher opens, it will be asking you what project you want to start. Today we're going to use a pre-made template to alter the pictures, but all the skills we will be using can <laughs> we will be using can be used with your own images taken from a digital camera or a cell phone or any of the provided clip art. So we're going to go ahead and click on greeting cards. And we are going to use the greeting card with the picture of the limes and is labeled birthday four. So we'll double click on that and it becomes. As you can see this example shows three pages. Our printers, our color printers here at Parkview do have the capability to print dual-sided documents. So printing this or any other card would definitely be possible. However for this tutorial I'm going to concentrate on the main first page with the large picture on it. So if we click on the picture, you can see that the parameters are now visible. These are indicated by the little white dots around the edges of the image. By hovering over these white dots and clicking on certain ones, we are able to manipulate the image size. With any corner, we can make the picture smaller or larger proportionately. As you can see, when I make the picture larger, Publisher is trying to help me center the picture on the page by making the margins visible with the light blue lines. These are not mandatory as you can make the picture as large or as small as you want. I recommend checking your print preview often by going up to file and hitting print so that you can see what your picture will look like and you can make sure that your project is looking the way it should. Since this is a card, the entire card is going to be printed out on one page as the program is assuming you will fold the card appropriately. So I'm going to go back to home so I can continue altering my image. By clicking and dragging on the dots to the left and right of the image, I can either make it very thin or very wide. And by clicking on the dots on the top or the bottom of the picture, I can either make it very short or very long. Now I'm going to hit Control Z on my keyboard a couple of times just to get the image back to a fairly normal size. Clicking and dragging the green top dot at the very top of the picture, I can shift the image or even flip it upside down if I wanted to. And simply by clicking and dragging in the middle of the picture, I can place it wherever I want on the page. Now we're going to format the picture. I'm going to make it fairly large, which I've done. And then at the very top, while the picture is highlighted, I can see that Picture Tools is available. I'm going to click on that. And now you can see that I have many options on how to alter my picture. An important feature is crop over here on the right hand side. Once you click on this, oops, there, you can see that your white dots have now become black dashes. 
You use these in the same way you use your white dots, knowing that as you move these around, you're actually cutting out that section of the picture. I'm going to go ahead and crop out that white border. So now when I click outside of the picture, the crop takes effect. And if I click on the picture again, you can see that our normal white dots have returned. So if we shift our focus to the left-hand side of the Format tab, you can see there are several options for coloring this picture. We can adjust the brightness, the contrast, or I can even recolor the picture to make it resemble newspaper or an ancient or old document. If I click on transparent color, we get a marker. And if we click on the background of the picture, some of the background will become transparent. Some pictures will remove more background than others. Since this picture has already had some artifacts put into it, the entire background will not be removed. This technique is much more successful with your own pictures. For example, I'm going to insert my own picture. Go to Insert, Picture, from my Teacher Pictures folder. I'm going to choose Professor Beaker. And if I'm going to go up to under Recolor, and click Set Transparent Color. I'm going to click on Beaker's black background here. And as you can see, almost all of his black background has disappeared. I'm going to click Control Z a couple times to get him back to normal. I'm going to go ahead and make him smaller, but I'm going to keep using him as my example so I can show you how to alter the images even a little bit more. So now, as you can see, I can do some different things to Professor Beaker here. I can put a border around him in a different color. The line is very thin. We can make it weight, weighted more. Something along those lines. Or we can use our effects border, which changes the shape of the picture in addition to adding a border. And there are more options down here. Or we can change the, the shape of the picture entirely without adding a border. So as you can see, it's showing me exactly what I'm going to lose by cropping this picture into this shape. And if I click outside of the document, that effect takes, takes place. So now I'm going to add some word art to show you one last effect. I'm going to go to insert, word art, choose the one I want. I'm going to write happy birthday. And as you can see, word art is treated exactly like a picture would be. So I'm going to make this very large. But I don't want it covering poor Professor Beaker's face, so I'm going to go back to Format, and it should now say Word Art Tools. And I'm going to click Send Backwards, and now you can see that Beaker is in front of the words. If I click it again, it also goes behind the picture of the limes. I can reverse this by clicking Bring Forward or Control Z. This process works on pictures, word art, text boxes, or pretty much anything you want to put into a publisher doc document. So there you have it. Those are the ins and outs of picture manipulation. Once you have these basics down, you will find Publisher to be a lot more fun and useful. I now invite you to open Publisher and try your hand at some of the tricks I've showed you. Once again, thank you for listening, and I hope this session was helpful to you.